everybody, welcome back to the Evermore YouTube channel. It's Chris back with another rumour has it video about players linked to the football club in the summer transfer window. It's already been a really busy transfer window. We've already signed some players. It looks like we've missed out on some players. So we're going to talk about a couple of few players linked in key positions, possibly fill the holes of the players that we've missed out on as well. So we're going to get stuck right into this in a minute. Just before we do, a little reminder, if you're new to the channel, just check us out for the first time. Good to see you. Smash that button. Come and join us. 4,000 of you already have. We really appreciate that. The channel's barely two years old and we've had loads of people smashing that button and joining the Evermore party. So come and do that. Loads of stats and chats, uh, live show every Monday, and the odd rant here and there as well. I'll keep you entertained, certainly until the football kicks off. And then we're all about previews and reviews after that. So let's get stuck in. Who am I talking about? This latest player linked is a hell of a footballer, plays his football in the Eredivisie, and is a very, very talented boy. I'm talking about this lad here, which is Mohamed Kudus, who plays for Ajax. Now he's... Um, a right winger, uh, but he's, he's not just a right winger. He seems to be able to play a multitude of positions here. And again, it's a little bit like Catherine Churam here with this one. That these are his overall games that he's played for Ajax. Just kind of looking, looking in the positions here. Um, he's played as a centre midfielder forty six times, a centre forward thirty nine times, an attacking midfielder thirty six times, and a right winger nineteen times. In those positions, goals wise. Centre forward, he's got 14 goals in 39 games and three assists. That's great stats for somebody playing through the middle. Uh, as attacking midfielder, 11 goals and four stats. A right winger, um, seven goals and four assists. And centre midfielder, um, 46 games, 11 goals and four assists. So he definitely knows how to do the business when he's in those positions. But I love the fact that he can play a multitude of positions again. These are the type of players that you really want to go for. So the, the, the news is that... This the, a deal could be done for just over 40 million quid for Caduce. And I think Man United, Brighton and Wolves are all interested in the player. Now, obviously, Man United is one that you'd be a little bit worried about because of the Ten Hag links as well. But, you know, Brighton possibly, we, we could go toe-to -to -toe with them. Certainly Wolves, I believe, we, we could blow them out the water if we're after this player. But it's all about whether we can spend 40 million quid on them. But again, 40 million quid on a 22-year-old kid who, you know, could become a much better player, you know, like Botman, like Bruno, Signing for 40 million in three seasons' time, they're worth 85 million. But this lad has got pace, he's got skill, and he can finish as well. He's got a thunder bastard of a strike on him. So for me, this is smart business by Newcastle, especially missing out on James Madison and Sobersly. This could be one of the ones on our list that we really push the button and go for. So let's have a look at how he compares with, with Miggy Armour on there on the other side. Straight away, you can see the big stat is the age. He's seven years younger than Miggy. He played 38 games last season versus Miggy's 41, so consistency in his fitness there. 25 of those were 90-minute games versus Miggy's 32. 16 goals and six assists. Brilliant stats that for 25 90-minute games. Um, 0.55 for goals a game versus Miggy's 0.4, despite his purple patch. Um, shots, nearly three and a half a game, so more than Miggy there. Shots on target, 1.36 of those. Um, in terms of his, uh, his goal shot ratio, is 0.16, so exactly the same as Miggy. Assists, 0.15, bit better than Miggy. Um, pass completions, 85% versus Miggy's 82. Key passing, nearly one and a half a game. Shot creation chances, 3-4-1. So right there with Miggy as well. And goal creation chances, um, 0.40 versus Miggy's 0.47. So a very talented player and very comparable with Miggy Almiron. But look at the, the greens, ambers and reds here. This is a sign of a good player when there's very, very little um, ambers or reds in his stats. That's the way I always look at these things. And you look at his attacking stats are absolutely fucking phenomenal for Caduce. They really are. At 22 years old, by the way. So goals, he's up in the 95 percentile. You know, goals to shot ratio 85, shots 96, shots on target 96. You know, his assists a little bit low at 45, but his, his X, his X, uh, A or his expected assists is 60 percent. His successful take ons are 99 percent. So only 1% of the time does this lad fail to beat his, his fullback, which is absolutely incredible. Crosses are a little bit low, though, which is a bit of a concern. He's a bit more of a cut inside and have a shot kind of a winger. Um, so that might be something you need to work on. But, you know, if someone like Alexander Rizak's making that run, if he cuts inside and threads a through ball through, then hell, why not? But his through balls are also a bit low, so that's something else he needs to work on as well. Pass completion is really high, 99 percentile. Aerials one, slightly low at 51. Fouls one, 75. Um, dispossessed. Uh, he's got quite low stats for being dispossessed. Touches in the area, you know, he's up at 96 percentile as well. And progressive carry from distance is 67. So to me, these stats indicate that's a winner. Um, you know, 40 million quid potentially to get that deal done. Uh, is it a gamble? Yes, but he's played Champions League football. He's played European football. He's played against massive teams around Europe. He's played in Eredivisie uh, and he scores goals and he can play in a multitude of positions. So we need that striker back up. 
We also need somebody else to, to put pressure on Niggy on the right-hand side to play out wide and create something. And I think this lad could do both. I think Caduce could be a backup striker when you need him to be. He could play on the right-hand side. He could play on the left-hand side. He could play through the middle if Bruno gets suspended or something like that. So these are the kind of deals, you know, him, Kefran, Charam, for me, it, you know, 35, 40 million quid that Newcastle Knights should certainly be trying to find some money down the back of the sofa for. I know it's FFP and all this other stuff as well, but, you know, we've got to take a gamble sometimes on these players. We can't keep losing out on targets. I do trust the process. It is a little bit of a worry that we missed out on Madison Sobberslight if we were indeed in for them, especially when it looks like Madison's potentially gone for, for 30 million cash because Harry Winks has gone to Leicester in a £10 million pound deal. Maybe our players didn't want to go to Leicester. Who knows? But yeah, I'd be really happy if we can get this kid over the line because I think he'd be a fantastic addition to the squad. Add pace, add goals, add creativity. For me, it's a win-win. But let us know what you guys think in the comments below, whether you agree or disagree. We always like to hear from you and we'll always do a better try and reply to you as well. And as I mentioned at the start, if you haven't already, consider subscribing, hit that button, hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of the videos. And also give us a like as well. It really helps the channel grow, helps get it around YouTube for everyone else to see it. We'll be back soon with some more transfer banter on Evermore. Stay tuned, guys. We'll catch you later. Cheers now. Bye-bye.